data sonification. Now this is a topic that has just really caught my eye, caught my ear recently. It was after listening to a podcast called the O'Reilly Hardware Podcast. They had a guest on there that talked about turning data into sound. And they gave lots of different examples about why you would want to do this. So I started wondering if I can make these myself. And I stumbled upon a piece of software called Sonification Sandbox. And what it does is it allows you to put in uh, columns of data and then assign sounds to them and play it out. Let's take a look at Sonification Sandbox. The software has a lot of neat features. It starts off by just giving you columns in which you can paste the data in, or you can actually import a CSV file. And uh, you can change the headers, and then you go to the graph and you can see what your graph is gonna look like. Now, um, you also can adjust how long it's gonna play the notes for you. Now under the mapping section, you can go to the column B settings and what you heard before was a piano, but if you don't wanna to listen to piano and you wanna choose something like tubli or bells, you get a new sound. And there's a bunch of other features here in the pitch mapping. You can reverse it, so the pitch goes the other way. You can turn off the pitch mapping altogether and you can switch to volume mapping. So what I like this is for you know information, um, for example, this is data of an object getting faster and faster, so it's moving away from me, so it's getting quieter and quieter as it moves away from me. This is an example of some data that I collected um, of two objects. So now I have two columns, and I can have column B playing piano, and column C, I can have that playing a different instrument. In this case, I'll put it on the cello. And you can actually hear the two columns playing at the same time. I haven't tried it yet, but there is a section for you to adjust which speaker uh, the sound is playing. So you can have column B playing out the left side and column C's data playing in the right side. Now this is some data that I got for a particular lake in Madison, Wisconsin. It's Lake Monona. And it's showing how long the lake is frozen over the winter. And so the higher up on the graph is more days of ice and the lower on the graph is less days of ice. It starts in the winter of 1855 to 56 and it goes to present day. And you should be able to listen to the high notes in the beginning and it starts to get more and more low notes in the present. I think overall these visuals with audio added to them are very helpful, but it's something else to think about is students who don't have the ability to see, this might be a way for them to observe some of the data that you are studying in the classroom. So that's data sonification. Give it a listen.